I forced my 14-year-old daughter to get an abortion. She wouldn't listen, and then it happened. Now, she is devastated and angry at me because she had a miscarriage. I 42M am a single father to my daughter 14F. My wife passed away with excessive bleeding after childbirth, so it's just me and her. She's a fantastic young lady, always on the honor roll, really good at basketball, and a social butterfly. She doesn't see too much of me because I work 9 to 7, but I'm home for dinner, and she's started getting really good at cooking something little for both of us. Around Tuesday, I noticed there was something off about her. She was a whole lot quieter than she usually is, and there was no chatter during dinner. Right after dinner, she went up to her room, even though typically we sit and watch TV together. I figured it was just moody teenage hormones, except it doesn't stop. On Friday, I finally took her hands and asked her what was wrong. She looked at me and just burst into tears. She cried more, so I held her until she was ready, and that's when she whispered, I'm pregnant. I was shocked. Utterly and completely shocked. I kept on hugging her, but my mind had gone blank. I took her upstairs and tucked her into bed. I didn't think asking her about what she planned to do when she was so vulnerable was a good idea. I'd wait until she calmed down a little. Saturday, she came down for breakfast, and I sat her down and asked her about her plans. She said under no circumstances will she abort the baby. It's her baby, and she plans to keep it full term. I then asked about adoption, and she said she didn't want to, and that she could care for it. I calmly explained that we were no longer financially able to care for a baby, and who would take care of it during the day. I go to work, she goes to school, and my parents, although they were a big help in taking care of my daughter when she was younger, are too old to watch a baby. She suggested she start online school, which I refused, saying I don't want her to ruin her life. The thing is, I don't even want to consider adoption. I can't imagine her going through pregnancy and then labor, especially with what happened to her mother. I don't know if high-risk pregnancies are genetic, but if she has one, what if I lose her? I told her this, and she asked me if I had no love for my grandchild. But I don't. I don't care at all about the clump of cells in her uterus. I care about her. The girl I raised. I told her today that she had to abort her child. She cried, screamed, and begged, telling me to reconsider and telling me that she'd run away. There's no way I'm letting her give birth. She could tear her body apart. And for school... I don't want her to face the stigma and hurt of teen pregnancy. At this point, I see only one way out of this, and that's telling her if she doesn't abort it, I'm kicking her out. It hurts me so much to do this, but if she doesn't do it, I'm afraid her life will truly be over. I won't actually, but I'm hoping it'll push her in the right direction. I'm pretty much manipulating her, but how do I get out of this? Where do I go from here? TLDR. My daughter's pregnant. We can't afford a baby. She doesn't want to give it up or abort it. Update. So today she didn't go to school, and we went to the local clinic to get her checked out. It's been confirmed. She's definitely pregnant, about 13 weeks along. Everything's fine so far, but she's automatically high risk because she's a teenager. They said she could develop anemia, low blood iron, or blood pressure problems, and on top of that, the baby could also be born with disabilities. After the doctors, I took her out for ice cream and then asked her who the father was. I told her I had to know. She had to tell me. She refused, saying she'd raise the baby on her own without his help. We went home, and she went to the bathroom and accidentally left her phone open. So I took it and looked through her messages. According to the ones between her and her friends and her and the guy, He's 15 years old and a friend of a friend. She hadn't told him yet. I wrote down his number and then messaged him on my phone, telling him I was daughter's name dad, and I needed him to give me his mother's number because of a big problem. I expected something of a fight, but the kid messaged it back to me, so I called his mom and told him my daughter was pregnant and her son was the father. She asked if I was sure, and I said based on the texts, it didn't seem like she'd had sex with anybody else, but she'd be free to get a paternity test. I said it'd be best if we got together at a coffee shop or something to talk, 
but she said there'd be no need for that. She said her son would be waiving his parental rights, and they were not interested in a co-parenting situation. I asked about child support, and she said her husband would pay it, but her son would not be involved. She asked for me to not tell her about any details of the pregnancy, and they don't want to be at any appointments. She hung up before I could say anything else. Now I don't know where I stand. I can't afford a lawyer, and I don't think I can make him get involved either way. I don't entirely trust them to be accommodating in terms of child support, considering how short his mother was. Is there a way they could get out of paying it? I don't know enough about their family, but if they have money, and we don't, what's happening there? My daughter is no closer to getting an abortion or considering adoption, but I'm going to stop peppering her with it now. My sister and her are talking right now at the suggestion of another Redditor. And I hope a female influence will work better on her than I am. She's sending a little bit of money, and I think I may be able to set up a therapy appointment for her to talk out her options in a professional way. Something my sister and I can do. Edit. Thank you everyone so much for commenting. I expected maybe a dozen comments, and I've got hundreds of PMs. Thank you all so much for your help. I'm not sure what the rules of updating are, but if it's possible, I'll update as soon as I can. Update. I last posted about a week ago. She decided to keep the baby, but for a while she'd been complaining about cramps and backaches, which we were told by the doctor would be expected and normal. I think they were a whole lot worse than she let on, but she didn't tell me. Around 1.30 a.m. last night, the bleeding started, and we went straight to the hospital, where we were told she had miscarried. They said it was a late miscarriage, which happens after 13 weeks, but before 20. As soon as she found out, she lost it. She started screaming at me, are you happy now? And just cried and cried. She had a D and E, dilation and evacuation, and the doctors kept her to look her over and understand why it happened. They said it was about a weak cervix, in which, basically, as the baby grows and pushes on the cervix, in some women, the pressure causes the cervix to open before the baby is born, which can result in an early labor or a second trimester miscarriage. According to the doctor, most late miscarriages are because of that, and they don't typically check for it during pregnancies, which is why it's usually not diagnosed until after the miscarriage happens. The doctors told us her body will recover fairly quickly from it. She'll need some bed rest for some time, but she'll be fine. Her emotional state is a whole other problem. She wouldn't let me hold her while she cried, and she screamed at me for a while after she woke up from the D and E. She kept on saying that it was my fault, and I must be delighted that this was happening to her. I told her over and over that I was so sorry. I loved her. It was no one's fault, but I may as well have been talking to a wall for all she listened to. All night long, she cried, wouldn't eat, and couldn't sleep. Today, she was a little better, and had some lunch, except outside of her room, a pregnant woman. Not a patient. I think a visitor to the child next door walked by, and she broke down again. Right now, she's in an absolutely horrible emotional state. I'm so worried about her. I'm terrified she'll do something to herself. She'll be wounded beyond repair, and she'll probably hate me forever. I can't even begin to think that this was... A blessing in disguise, which is what my sister told me over the phone today. There's no more baby, but there's so little left of her now. How do I help her? Edit. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to reply to any comments before it was locked. It's been a busy day. I just want everyone to know. Thanks for taking the time to reply. Therapy is a must. I'll take a look at cheaper options. I'm thinking of reducing my hours which may be kind of counterproductive, but she needs me. For those saying she may try to get pregnant again, I don't think she will because of the incompetent cervix issue, meaning if she does, she knows it'll probably end in miscarriage. We'll be looking into getting that treated as well. For those of you saying this post is fake, trust me, I know how it looks. It seems awfully convenient. I don't know what to tell you, but it's not. I had some time while she slept for a short amount of time, which is when I posted. Nobody was picking up at that hour, and I had to get advice from somewhere, 
so thanks, Reddit. This will be my last post, and I just want to thank everyone who reached out to me. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.